I'm Carolyn Osorio, journalist, mother, and cooking enthusiast. I call myself Pippi Mama because it's always an adventure cooking and tripping around our rustic lake house paradise we call Camp Osorio. So come play with us. Here's what's happening at Camp Osorio. On Cooking and Trippin' at Camp Osorio with Pippi Mama and my sidekick Amelia here, I'm going to be making some delicious halibut and chips. Now, we don't have any chips here today because the star of this show is the delicious golden batter that I absolutely love and I'm going to show you how to do it. And it's very simple and delicious and tasty. My husband likes cod and I like halibut. Halibut's kind of a more denser fish and um, so I like to get both and I get them from my fishmonger which I love saying fishmonger because it's just kind of fun to say. A fishmonger is essentially like a butcher and specialty is fish and if you ever want to know anything about recipes with fish I recommend talking to your local fishmonger. There I said it again. When you have your, your, your fish you want to let it soak in the water and then you want to take it out and pat it dry. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some paper towels here. Since I have five kids, which yes, I have five kids and they're little kids, um, I like to make sure that I cut these pieces into, into small pieces and that there's no bones. And the halibut, usually there's like a piece of skin right here. Um, I always just ask, ask the fishmonger to cut it off so I don't have to deal with it because um, it takes a pretty sharp knife. And so I'm going to pat this down and I have my knife here. Pull that aside. And usually, when you feel around with the fish, you just take out those little pin bones to make sure that none of them get in this tasty, delicious fish and chip. I do, um, I get kind of nervous about kids and bones and fish, you know? Okay, so I have the halibut and the cod. It's all kind of pieced out in the sizes that I like for my family, but you can of course cut it into bigger or smaller pieces, whatever you like. So now I'm gonna focus on the beer batter part, which is basically flour, some cornstarch, a lot of cornstarch. When I got this recipe, it was like a cup of cornstarch. I'm like, whoa, that's a lot of, a lot of cornstarch, but it does the trick. And I've got some seasoning salt, some baking soda, garlic powder and some sugar. Now I'm going to mix this all together. Okay so now I've got that incorporated and I'm going to grab a beer and I'm going to just pour it in. And what I love about this recipe is this this batter is like really thick and creamy. And so I know it's going to turn into a really nice coated sweet, but also savory fried goodness. Okay, so you can see the consistency is kind of like pudding, I'd, I'd say. Okay, so now I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to go get my oil. Okay, so we're ready to go on step two. Now I've moved my operation over here just because um, you know, I like to fly by the seat of my pants, but when I'm dealing with hot oil, I have a very high respect for it. So I'm moving everything over here. And one way that I like to kind of gauge whether or not the oil is hot enough is to just drizzle a little bit, a little bit in there and it's bubbling and going up. So I know it's ready to go. And this, this is all like creamy goodness. So I'm going to go ahead and just start putting the fish in and this is the halibut. And I just like to use this pan because it's a big pan. It's, she ain't pretty, but she does the trick. And I can get a lot of pieces in there. And this is one of those things where you have to be patient because I always want to flip beforehand. But, um, you know, we really want to be patient to make sure that it's ready to go. And it's golden brown. Look at this delicious golden brown. I just love this golden brown. It just makes me happy. I'm going to bring it over here and set it aside. And now 
I'm excited to talk about tartar sauce, which, you know, who is excited to talk about tartar sauce? But the reason why I'm excited about it is because I didn't realize exactly how easy it is. It is so easy to make tartar sauce, and it's one of those things where if you have delicious tartar sauce, it goes perfect with fish. So you want to just take some mayonnaise, and you can actually make your own mayonnaise, but this is how simple it's going to be, is I'm just going to add some mayo in a bowl. Now, there's two different types of tartar sauce. I like the sweet relish kind, which gives the tartar sauce a little bit sweeter, whereas the dill is, is not as sweet. It's still good. It just has more of that dill flavor, so more, I, mean, I don't know if savory is the actual kind of word. So, um, so I'm going to use the, the sweet kind, sweet relish, but either or is great. And I'm going to get a lemon. Cut that lemon up. And I'm going to put my sweet relish in here. I've got my mayonnaise already in there. And, you know, depending on if you like your, your tartar sauce extra thick, you just add more mayo. I happen to like a lot of uh, relish. And I'm just going to make sure to put my hand over it so the seeds don't come out. And I'm going to just put a little bit of dill in here. And then again, you know, with the fish and chips, you can add as much. I'm putting paprika. If you want it to be spicy, you can add more spice. Um, I'm going to keep it pretty mellow and just do a little bit. And then I'm just going to stir. And you can see the color is taking shape. And it's just that easy to make tartar sauce. And I'm telling you, it's just so simple. And yet, sometimes it's the simple things that are just so delicious. I love that. Now, you can have fries with this. I also like to make like Mexican coleslaw, which is really delicious and is available on my website, pippimama.com. Or you can just eat them just like this. Mmm. It's delicious because, mm, woo! It's got the sour from the lemon. It's got the salty, spicy flavor from the beer batter. And it's got the delicious, dense fish halibut flavor. It's just a wonderful combination. How, how's yours? <laughs> Well, thanks for helping your mom today. I always love cooking with you. Here at Campbell's Oreo. See you next time. <laughs>